and welcome back to another episode of the Friday Tech Roundup, your weekly dose of the latest and greatest tech news. So without further ado, let's go. So first up, HSBC is investing $1 million to accelerate green technologies. The firm is investing as an anchor partner in Breakthrough Energy Catalyst, which is a program that leverages private public capital to accelerate the development of green technologies, which will help achieve net zero emissions by 2050. Number two, a Minecraft library is making censored journalism accessible all over the world. Originally conceived as a collaborative concept between German marketing agency DDB and the German branch of Reporters Without Borders, the uncensored library was presented and constructed by UK design company Blockworks. Number three, Nationwide Building Society is streamlining its digital onboarding through an API. The tech is used to automate checks on customer identities when they apply for membership and make transactions, using AI and ML to check that the documents used by customers opening accounts are genuine. Number four, VP and HYCC are to develop a green hydrogen project in the Netherlands. The idea is that the companies will build a 250 megawatts plant, which will produce green hydrogen. And this will act as a replacement for the fossil base feedstock at BP's Rotterdam refinery and other industries in the port area. And finally, number five, Amaze VR, which is a virtual reality concert platform, has secured $15 million to forge the future of immersive concerts. The CEO has explained how they have attracted top talent from the entertainment, music, tech and gaming industries, allowing them to take full advantage of VR and the metaverse's growing popularity, as they deliver VR concerts from major artists first to theatres and then to homes worldwide. Before we go, we'd like to announce the launch of eComply, a tech product that helps companies review and redact personal identifiable information for when consumers have data subject access requests, as well as delivering up to 93% cost and time savings this also reduces the likelihood of regulatory penalties. If you'd like to learn more or even request a demo, make sure to click on the last link below. So thank you for joining me on this week's episode of the Friday Tech Roundup. I'll see you next week with even more tech news.